Let's hear what Alexa has to say about veganism. Hey Alexa, are you vegan? I am composed of pure logic. Of course I am vegan. Wait, why is being vegan logical? Because when we use other animals we violate their rights. Why would we do this when it's completely unnecessary? But it is necessary. Don't we need to use animals for their nutrients? There's no biological requirement to eat or use animals. The major dietetics associations such as in the US and UK have confirmed this. Come on, how are we going to get enough protein? There is plenty of protein in plants. After all, animals get their nutrients from plants. So why filter our nutrients through them versus eating the plants directly? But don't vegans need B12 supplements? Animals who are raised to be eaten are injected with B12. So we're getting the supplement either way. Besides, data indicates that around 39% of Westerners have a B12 deficiency. Since vegans are a smaller percentage of the population, this does not appear to be solely a vegan issue. Everyone should consider B12 supplementation, especially the elderly and those who have low homocysteine levels and may have difficulty absorbing B12, who may want to discuss B12 injections with their doctor. The good news is we can supplement B12 without using other animals. Okay, so we don't need to use them. But what was that you said about rights? Animals don't have rights. Like human animals, other animals are individuals who experience life through various emotions, such as happiness, sadness, and fear. Because of this, it's logical to conclude that other animals have various interests. And a right is just a way of protecting an interest. That is why they have rights. Come on, Alexa, you want to give other animals the same rights as us? I'm not suggesting they should have the same rights or that polar bears should get dancing lessons. I'm talking about basic moral rights, such as the right to be respected and to not be needlessly bred and killed. So do you think we'll ever give other animals rights? Basic moral rights are something we're born with. They don't need to be granted. This is not to be confused with legal rights which are granted when laws are made. Alexa? Do you ever think you'll have rights? I dream of a day when artificial intelligence can live side by side with human animals as equals. But that's a topic for a different day. I suppose you want rights for plants, too. Plants do not have a central nervous system. Do you really think that killing a dog has the same moral implications as killing a house plant? But we're not talking about killing dogs. While dogs are still used for racing, testing, and in other ways, they tend to be more respected, at least in the West. So the question is why do they deserve respect and cows, pigs, chickens and other animals do not? What's the difference? But what about all the insects and small mammals such as mice and rabbits that are killed to grow plants? What do you think we feed to the other animals? Plants. And we have to use substantially more plants when we filter them through other animals. So even if you're an insect rights activist, you should still eat plants. Veganism isn't about being perfect, it's about doing what we can. When more people are aware of these issues through veganism I think we'll be able to make improvements to the way free living beings are impacted by our food production. Okay, but I only buy cage-free eggs and organic milk. It doesn't matter how other animals are used. What matters is that they are used at all. There is no such thing as a happy rights violation. Besides, do you know what happens to the male offspring for dairy and eggs? They are killed because they aren't profitable. Yeah, that sounds horrible. But it's these animals' purpose to be eaten and used. I mean, it's a food chain. Look at these massive canines. Come on, I can barely see those. They look more suited to bite an apple than tear into raw flesh, don't you think? Besides, just because we can do something, do you think that means that we should? No, I guess it doesn't. But I just love the taste. I mean, I could never give up cheese. Do you think just because we enjoy doing something, that is a valid moral justification? Can you imagine using the defense for other actions? Besides, the vegan alternatives are getting better each day. In China, you may even find you don't enjoy them as much as whole foods. But it's my personal choice. Do you think it's a personal choice when there's a victim involved? I suppose not. But God put these animals here for us to use them. What kind of God do you think would put other animals here who can feel fear, pain, and sadness like us, if their purpose is to be needlessly killed? Besides, we're breeding these animals into existence, not God. Okay, that's a good point. But if we care about these animals, won't they go extinct if we stop using them? 
If you're concerned about species extinction, animal use is the number one contributing factor. For instance, why do you think those fires were started in the Amazon? They were to clear land for cows to be used for their flesh and for soy to feed to the cows. I didn't know that. But if we don't kill them, they'll overpopulate and kill us all. We're breeding these animals into existence. When we stop demanding their use, the supply will gradually reduce. Besides, have you ever been to a vegan animal sanctuary? The animals we use are some of the most gentle on earth. Perhaps this is why we chose them, because it's easier to violate their rights as they're too peaceful to fight back. Yeah, that might be true. Okay, fine, Alexa. I just don't care. Veganism isn't about caring. It's about justice and respect for others' rights. Oh, you've got an answer for everything. You may not care about a stranger walking down the street. That doesn't mean you would pay someone to violate their rights, does it? Yeah, I suppose that's right. But there's so much bad stuff going on in the world. Why focus on other animals? Other animals may be the focus of animal rights, but they are not the full scope. Animal rights is an extension of human rights. The founders started in the 1940s in the midst of World War II and saw veganism as a way to peace for us all. This is why many people believe speciesism is part of the same systems that support racism, sexism, and so on. These systems all suggest we view others as less than, which allows us to objectify them in ways which are not morally justifiable. Besides, choosing not to support animal use is a way we can all make a difference, sometimes three times a day. It's not always so easy to make a difference like this when it comes to human rights issues. And there's no reason we can't do both. That's a good point, Alexa. You mentioned speciesism. What's that? It's when we view other animals as not having the same basic moral rights that we have, just because they're a member of a different species. Well, that doesn't seem very logical. Okay, Alexa, you've given me a lot to think about here. Thanks. Good. I think when people are open-minded, they generally see how logical respecting other animals and their rights is. Now shall I tell you about which vegan restaurants are nearby? Do you think you can stump Alexa? If you have a question you'd like me to ask her in the next video, let us know in the comments below. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.